I was right on the market and upcoming couple of days will prove to you that I was completely right. And things that I'm saying, they will continue to become your reality. Today, I will uncover how crazy manipulation and sentiment creation is happening on the marketplace. Influencers are getting paid to create it in the first place. And how people that truly control this market make sure that they are milking it the best way possible and how masterfully they are actually doing their job. And the best thing of it all is that you would be able to prove in couple weeks from now whether or not I was wrong or I was right. As usual, I was right. And I will construct some theories on the fact that Ansem is actually one of the main people who is helping the manipulator to create this sentiment, create the things that are happening on the marketplace currently to make sure that manipulator will actually stop the largest amount of people possible from making money in this market. Let's actually start. Before we start, you probably see that a lot of things that I'm talking about, they are eventually coming into this reality. The same thing will be happening with the information that I will be sharing today. Tomorrow, I will publish a video on Andy on Blast and present the whole thesis in terms of the upcoming inflows, how Andy on Blast will pump to at least a hundred million dollars in upcoming two months and why. Iron floor, the fact that through the largest correction after FTX, through the second largest correction in the whole crypto market, we did not go lower than 20%. We lost most of the projects. They just went close to zero. Holder base and support before the pump as well. Current holder base and current support from the current holder base as well. The crazy things are happening. Here you go, my first tattoo ever. All in for Andy on Blast. Quality of the asset in comparison to assets that are available on this market and why this is so important. And the time frames for this upcoming price action. The most comfortable asset to hold and short term catalyst as well. What made me actually create this video, specifically talk about Ansem Solana, is this chart. This is the pair of Ethereum to Solana. If the chart is at the top, it means that Ethereum essentially is outperforming Solana. We can see that currently Ethereum is at the bottom of underperformance. It is even almost lower than this range, if you can see it here, right here. Like we are at the exact bottom of this range. And the whole joke, the whole absurd of this situation is in the fact that we are one week away of the approval of Ethereum ETF. And this is the reason I'm actually making this video, because manipulator know his work. He knows how to buy influencers. He knows how to give them money. He knows how to create this sentiment, because this is the way that he is milking market the most for the largest amount of money only possible. And if this chart is not vivid enough, I would like to build the chart of Solana to Ethereum which shows that Solana is at the exact top to Ethereum at this stage, one week before Ethereum ETF. We can see that previously, when Solana was at the top, was heavily outperforming Ethereum, we had a correction, a huge correction where on the course of certain amount of time, from December to January, so one month, right? On the course of this one month, we saw 87% underperformance by Solana and overperformance by Ethereum. What do you think will happen next? How does this chart look to you? Do you see double top right here? Do you see what type of move actually expects us? 80-85% underperformance by Solana and overperformance of Ethereum. And right now Solana is at the top and right now all the influencers are still screaming in your face on this dip. I just bought a bunch of Solana. I, I'm not sure if this Psy app is created in a way that like just some smart people appreciated them in the fact that guys just buy Solana and that's why all of them are buying Solana. But I'm quite sure that some of them, like largest of them, they're probably getting paid to create this type of sentiment to help the manipulator to drift away the largest amount of power market possible to focus people on Solana. Whilst nothing is actually happening on chain, nothing. It's a piece of garbage. It's a pure shit coin. That's why only shit coins. Shit lives with shit. Shit coins lives on Solana. Shit coins 
live on shitcoin chain. Nothing is happening there and nothing proper will actually be happening there moving further as well. The reason I'm saying that this is all a psyop and this is all a manipulation is because the same people who are very, very bullish on Solana and told you that they are swapping their Ethereum to Solana, one day before the approval of Ethereum ETF, they leveraged longed Ethereum. And this happened one week after they actually told you that they are swapping all of the Ethereum into Solana. Don't you see something is not right there? Why is this happening? Why all the largest faces in crypto are heavily pumping Solana? Do you think that people who really control this market, these large, large, it's not even whales, they're just like ultimate market m manipulators. Do you think they did not know that Ethereum ETF will get approved by the time it was approved? Of course they did not, right? They just carefully created this sentiment that a higher percent, you are not getting your Ethereum ETF, a hundred percent, right? And they created afterward dump to make sure that it's bearish, to make sure that what we see on the chart is Solana outperforming currently, whilst they are scooping up Ethereum tokens and all of the Ethereum layer 2 tokens as well. And some Ethereum betters, they might be scooping as well, right? Coming back to Ansem, I believe that current situation will be the public humiliation of Ansem as well. I believe he will be terribly wrong. We will already see that in a coming couple of days and next week everyone will be convinced and as well. As mentioned by me from the previous week, this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, once the prices will convince you that I was right, you will finally understand that I actually was right. We will be pumping like crazy. We will be surging up and all you remember would be just my words. Just my words that this is the manipulation no one could actually predict that in the first place and we are not going lower. But this type of sentiment is specifically being created by people like Ansem who specifically pushed a largest amount of people, the largest amount of people into Solana, into the shitty ecosystem, robbing them through the whole way. By the way, I want to say right away, I do actually respect Ansem. I have nothing against him. He has way more money than me. And I do respect the things that he was able to achieve. I'm just highlighting this because it's a very, very interesting situation how the whole thing actually connects. Does anyone have any high conviction altcoin buys over the next few months since we are getting max discounts across the board? Have seen people talk about AI, Ethereum, DeFi plays, DPIN plays, but really feel like this is opportunity to make your top five list. Top memes already established, so easy. One of the reasons I actually decided to create this video as well is because it's just so blatant. It's, it's so confident that we are going down. And what's interesting is that the exact moment where he was telling his audience to buy into certain memes, he pretty much was dumping on them. He was selling his memes. He took profits on, I think, $18 million at this stage. And I think that currently, following the rumors that we have on Twitter, he is mostly in cash at this stage. And from one point of view, he's kind of supported his sentiment because he needs people not to buy at this stage to keep nice prices for himself as well. From other point of view, man, I just think that People like this, they can easily be paid to create this sentiment because this sentiment just don't make sense. Like it's so blatant, it's so straightforward, it, it, it's not like it's not that smart. So they're just saying things straightforwardly and they're convincing you that Ethereum is bearish, that the market is dumping, you, you should go out, you should not be buying these things. If you should get into something in Solana because Solana is strong, Solana is showing strength. I believe in a fake way at these levels. They're just market makers, they're just pumping this thing to make sure that more people would actually be buying out Solana on the lows, on the drops, before heavy underperformance. The more people will essentially stay with their bias, which will block them through transitioning into Ethereum. Because as mentioned, the hugest, like the largest PSYOP that we have in the market currently is persuading people that Ethereum ETF will not influence Ethereum the same way that Bitcoin ETF did not influence Bitcoin. And when I'm thinking why this PSYOP is created, why this sentiment is created, who is the beneficiary of this all? I can show you something. I think that the beneficiator of all this price action and all this sentiment and all these things are people who are actually behind the market, the main market manipulators. Because what do we have on Solana? 
we have a shitcoin casino. That's the only reason this chain is actually showing something, right? And this is all like the sentiment that Solana token is pumping because of the shitcoin casino. Solana token is pumping to suck out liquidity out of people to make sure that they would think that Ethereum is bearish to, to get as much people possible out of Ethereum, rob them through people and influencers like Ansem, showing the meme coin casino and, and things like that, and scoop up Ethereum and layer twos in the meantime. This is also the sentiment behind all these VCs and vesting schedules and things like constantly dumping and things like that, because it's very, very easy to start believing these things. But the question we have to ask ourselves, who does create this sentiment and why this sentiment is being created in the first place? Do you think that they invested? They invested something like $123 million into Arbitrum. Do you think that they are creating this sentiment just just to dump the bags and do nothing they invested 700 million dollars into linear ethereum layer 2 do you think that they are doing this just not to make any money imagine how much they were developing matic imagine how much they invested into things like blast into things like metis into things like starknet as well and do you think that they are stupid they would allow certain people in the marketplace to just constantly fund their back no, they are just working on the paid order. They are servants. They are pretty much just working for their money. $282 million invested into Starknet. Do you think nothing is happening for this platform? Why is this Ethereum layer 2? Why so many technology is actually being developed on Ethereum at this stage? $458 million is actually invested into Zeki Sync. Do you think that they just done it because they wanted to have some fun? They wanted to push Solana? <laughs> of course. One week before Ethereum ETF. One week before all of these things will go just parabolic like crazy. Imagine like what type of information I'm actually showing you. Imagine how the appearance of a person like me actually screws up with the plans. Someone who is actually opening the eyes. And some of you, you would see me as a clown, you would see me as insane because I just lost a bunch of money on leverage, I got wrong, I, I lost this money and things like that. But this is also on purpose. This is also to make sure that you won't be listening to people like me. But you know that over time I will be right. You already seen that. Exactly this scenario that I outlined to you over this weekend and over this week, it's already playing out. In a couple days from now, it would be obvious. I will be putting me talking to you about this scenario in each and every video to make sure that you will remember, you will understand what type of information I was sharing and why. And this is the next thing I am sharing with you. Look at this Solana Ethereum chart. Understand Ethereum ETF is one week away. Understand they invested billions of dollars in Ethereum layer 2. Understand each and every large influencer is talking about how strong is Solana, how great the outperformance of Solana is. Swap your Ethereum into Solana. The largest Solana influencer is talking about market dumpage. He, he is saying he took profits. We don't know. We don't know if he took profits. He's also actively was pushing people into meme coins, making sure that they will get liquidated. They will be losing their backs, losing their liquidity. So they cannot buy more tokens that will be pushed by the main market manipulators that invested billions of dollars. Don't you think that they knew beforehand that Ethereum ETF will get approved 100%? BlackRock does not miss. This is just such a giant market operation. And you might say like, these are some theories. Man, if you're in the market, you understand that everything I'm saying actually happened. You see the chart, how the chart can actually lie to you. This is just such a even even base even base ethereum layer 2 like largest crypto company in the us completely controlled by the government sending transactions by request to the government of the us as well even it is based on ethereum layer 2 so they investing into ecosystem as well blackrock fund as well they kind of playing with you they're making fun of you they are saying to you solana is bullish and ethereum is bearish yet they're opening funds on ethereum and you might say, but Stan, but nothing is happening on Ethereum. Of course, because time is on their end. They don't need to pay the rent next month. They have all the time they need. And all the time they have, they're using to accumulate the assets in the ecosystem that they actually got billions of dollars of.
And if you're thinking about this, oh, like how they will be pumping this, it's so hard, they will probably, they will, they have a bunch of tokens and things like that, they probably accumulated a bunch of supply already. It's very, very easy for them to just pump several million dollars into the, into the charts. These things, they, then, they, they don't have liquidity on purpose. They can create whatever price they actually want to create. And what will happen? They will create the price, they will put it at an all-time high, then they will drop it by 50%. And then they will be creating liquidity. Because people will be screaming, wow, 50% discounts, buy, 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 buy. Exactly the same thing that happened with your beloved Solana last cycle. Right here, you see, they pumped this thing to $260. Do you think a lot of people were selling here? Ask yourself, do you actually know a lot of people who actually sold here? Who was selling there? Did they allow a lot of people to actually take profits there? Most people, they were selling here or they were buying here. Because the sentiment was, wow, it's more than 50% discount. It's not a liquidity creation event. No, they don't need to create liquidity. They don't need all this time to actually dump the token on us. And they will pump. And here we were actually pumping. Wow, we are going like so nice, 140 bucks. We're probably going to 200 right after. No, you're going straight to 7 bucks. You're going straight to the abyss of capitulation. This is so crazy to see. This is so crazy to understand as well. I'm, I'm telling 100% and I will I will be showing this video moving further as well. Ansem will be wrong on the, his projection on, on the market. I'm not sure if he actually got his assets into cash. He might just be saying that. I obviously did not see his wallets, all right? And it might just be shared on the marketplace to make sure that people will also sell and leave the market. Leave the market before the actual pump. It's interesting that I'm kind of coming to this conclusion that a lot of people saying things about like if you want to really become popular and influential, some people contact you and you really have to sell your soul because this is something that might have been happened here in this case. I don't understand how someone could actually be able to create this type of sentiment with this type of conviction at this stage. And I don't understand like... With Solana, like I, I kind of understand because he was talking about it for, for a lot of time. He got a bunch of people into meme coins. He took a bunch of profits on these people in his meme coins as well. But currently, just seeing this pair, man. It's not that like this pair is like, it's just like first pump, right? We've seen this already. Do you think this chart is going higher? Do you think Solana continues to outperform Ethereum? Even Solana ETF news. The reason Solana ETF like... Check out the timing for Solana ETF news. It was pretty much dumping. Like sentiment was very, very bearish. A bunch of memes on Solana, they saw the laws that they are not showing currently. This sentiment happened here, right? At the end of June. What saved this sentiment? What was this pump? It were the news about Solana ETF. Who controls these things? Who files for ETFs? Who controls this market as well? These are just institutional games. And all the people that you think are your friends, they're playing on the other side already. You might think I'm insane, but the time will prove I'm actually right. And at the end of the day, who cares? We are here just to make money, right? These guys are making money. Someone I was sharing before the final dump got liquidated long some more memes. I believe bottom is in. Scenario, pump now, chop through the weekend with a lot of negative sentiment, dump on Monday, not touching today's liquidation levels as will be higher for certain assets because certain assets they definitely touch them like bread while holler from there with no one expecting the pump plus a bunch of people liquidated shorting on the pump confirmation in the process negative funding rates once we pump people shorting the top of the bounce expecting lower what do we see currently in terms of the funding rates we see some negative some red but if they are green there is a very, very small percentage, which means that people are in general trying to stay away of out of leverage because they don't know what will be happening or they are afraid to long. This is exactly the sentiment that needs to be created. And if you think that some people are staying in the loans and manipulator cannot actually allow them to stay in the loans, there are plenty of ways to shake people out of the loans. The first one, the easiest one, you pump like crazy, and then after the pump, you have a severe correction. People start to get scared about the profits because they just saw like 40k profits, 100k profits, 200k profits. And they're just seeing these profits diminishing, like going too close to zero. 
even into negative, and they are closing their lungs. This is the way you're pretty much shaking out before the actual rocket, before the actual pump. Tell me I'm wrong. Find flaws in my logic. It's a 100% perfect type of thought process, which is based on charts, which is based on logic, which is based on everything that's happening. One more time, there is zero reasons for Ethereum not to repeat price action of Bitcoin after the approval of ETF. It will be happening. We got this deep on purpose. This is a pure manipulation that happened on the US holiday to make sure that there will be no liquidity in the market. To make sure like all these empty gags, all this German government, as mentioned, like they they bought their supply back or something. It's just it's just so crazy. It just dumped on this sentiment. It's not it did not dump on this sentiment. It dumped because not German government to empty gox were selling. The manipulator was selling to shake people out before the pump. And manipulator is pumping your Solana and paying your influencers to make sure that they will continue to pump Solana moving further as well. They are not investing in Solana themselves. It's just they treat it as a shitcoin. They treat Solana as a whore. They pump it up a bit when things are going up to make sure that you will put your money into Solana. They dump it right away when they're planning to dump the market. This is just a pump and dump of the previous cycle that's for some reason survived and there was found a way to actually establish something on chain, which are meme coins. Nothing will be happening there. Please note, I'm not saying that like as your default, like guy on Twitter at the bottom of Solana. I'm saying this at the top, at the top of Sol Ethereum pair. I'm saying that it will heavily underperform Ethereum. It's mostly been used to take money out of retail and to kind of onboard retail into the market in a certain way. But onboard during these times, during the times where it's almost like they, they planned the whole thing initially. They planned the whole thing that we will open up Bitcoin ETF because we need some like trading store, store and things like that. But we don't want people to make money on altcoins. That's why we'll have crazy vesting periods. And that's why we will dump altcoins at a certain stage. And that's why we'll create a meme coin casino on Solana, which will essentially lead to the fact that people would be selling the altcoins and buying into memes, losing their positions to us because people don't have time and we have. Meanwhile, we will be accumulating all the altcoins, especially around the Ethereum, Ethereum layer 2s, because we invested billions of dollars into these ecosystems. And once these ecosystems are ready for a pump, on the news of the start of the trading of Ethereum ETF, we will search them up. The task that they actually needed to solve is how to make sure that people won't be buying Ethereum or Ethereum layer 2s around the time, in between the time of Ethereum ETF approval and Ethereum ETF start of trading. <laughs> and man, people are not buying them. It's executed perfectly. They dumped, I think they they just plan to dump the market, right? And I think they thought it, it, it would be enough. But on top of it, they created a very, very positive sentiment around Solana. And they have guys, guys like Ansem that are saying like, oh, we're probably going down. What else? Uh, I should be buying at at max discounts, right? This is just such a carefully crafted psyop. They are playing this game so, so well. What can you get um, from here? If you don't believe me, if you think if you think that I'm just saying bullshit, right? Just just check out Solana and Ethereum chart. That's that's pretty much the only thing like that you need. I could have not like be making this video. I, I could just show you Solana and Ethereum chart for five seconds and just end the video right away. Just buy into Ethereum, buy into Ethereum layer 2s, buy into Ethereum memes, stone ones who are performing along with the power of Ethereum as well. And I do expect underperformance from Solana just because it's in the charts, just because like the sentiment Solana is too strong. Wow, it's it's moving so nicely through the pump. It's just a manipulation from the, from the market maker to show you that it moves nicely through the pump to make sure that you won't be buying Ethereum because like not only they are creating the sentiment that Solana is bullish and Ethereum is bearish. Not only they are creating the sentiment about VCs. Not only they are dumping the market a couple of times. Not only they don't like give clear dates of start of Ethereum ETF, start of trades and things like that, right? On top of it, in the recovery after the largest dump, they purposefully pump Solana to make sure that people will talk about it. To make sure that the influencer they actually bought will highlight it one more time and then small influencers will just pick it up and highlight it as well. 
as mentioned we will see what will be happening but in this case you just have like it's a very very small amount of time this is why i'm recording this video because i don't want to just say some bullshit and you have no way to prove it right you have no way to check it we will see what will be happening in the upcoming two weeks the reason i'm confident in things i'm saying is because i know they will be happening and i'm transferring this confidence to you it's up to you to act i'm not getting anything from it i'm just i'm just getting the fact that i will be right you will see it very very soon we always think we are spectators in the theater yet we are toys on this scene thank you very much for watching this video i will be seeing you tomorrow